Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again. Nigel here. And for those of you who don't remember this scallywag here, this is my brother Nathan. Nathan, how you doing? Hold up. Really good. Yeah? I'm tired <laughs> as a dog. How was the hike? <clears throat> it was good, but yeah. Uh, it was inclined all the way, so... Uh... It was quite the incline, and we went too far again. So About 15, uh, 20 minutes too far. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit of a ski hill, uh, and it was not easy in these quad hoppers we got on here. But we did it. We did it. Uh, we're, we're at location now, and uh, shelter set up this time is gonna be similar to last time. We're doing a two-man snow trench this time. No tent? No tent. What? Yeah, I didn't tell you? No. Okay, well, we'll sort it out. Uh, sands the, sands the, uh, the, the tree boughs. We brought, brought mat mattresses this time, so uh, we should be insulated just fine. But uh, we're gonna get set up here and start digging. Right now. Ah, the joys of having two. We got Nathan getting the wood, and he's left me to do the shoveling. So as, as I said, same, uh, pretty much same setup for the shelter. We got a snow trench, a two-man snow trench this time. And uh, if you remember, it's, uh, it's best to find a nice inclined area that you can dig into. That'd be a lot easier, uh, a lot less snow to dig depending on how deep you want it, so. And we got a good, uh, it looks like almost two and a half, three feet of snow since I was here last, so. As you can imagine, it's nice and powdery. Very easy to shovel. If you don't have a shovel, but you do have snowshoes, Especially the bigger kind, they, they can make a great shovel, especially in this kind of snow. What happened? For some reason, I thought it was a good idea to see if I can whack the, the stick off of this snow down my face. <laughs> good job, bud. As I said, it snowed quite a bit, and this is all powder. And this is uh, easy to shovel, but hard to work with in terms of packing it down. And if you remember, we need stakes to uh, to keep our roof up. And uh, you stick a stick inside, and uh, it's like sticking it into uh, powdered sugar or something. May as well be water, because that, that's not going to hold. So i got to see if I can pack it down a little bit. It's a little bit better. be hard even to get a snow anchor going with this snow. It's about two and a half, three feet of powder and you could literally just pull it out with little effort at all. Let's see how see how Nate's doing here. He's somewhere in there. There he is. He told me he's, he's made a good haul in there, so he should be coming back with an arm load. I feel like I already smell a fire. No? Really?
this will burn for a while. Last time I had maybe uh, maybe maybe a third at most. I wasn't aware of the little stockpile of wood down there. These are all uh, just dead dead branches that we were either on the ground or uh, still attached. But that's a good haul. That's a good haul. Nate, I see that twinkle in your eye. <laughs> yeah, it's not dangerous at all. Yeah. You think? A little bit. Just a tad. If if you if you lose your balance, you're you're gonna have a hell of a time. Uh, I think I'd be fine with be a son of a bitch getting back up. Yeah. Or you could cause an avalanche. Or I could. That's all. There is a. 40 foot drop, pretty much right where Nathan is. That's the thing about the mountains. You're either going up or down. Are we going to have to build like a little base? 100%. We could probably use that for the base. Although it's a little rotten. Yeah. Well, we can make another. We haven't really been up that zone. <sighs> Doing this all day would be insane. Yes, it would. It sure would. <laughs> Log's giving you a piece of trouble, huh? Do you think you'd be out to... No, no. You gotta, you gotta finish the job there, Nate. <laughs> oh my god, you just destroyed my camera, sir. Well, I think we're good on the wood on the wood front. Nathan seems to think we need more, but I think we're good. This uh, this piece right here, it's pretty dead on the outside, but it's it's quite uh, quite seasoned on the inside, so this should be a good base for us. I almost kind of want to try the uh, sticking the log in the snow type fire. Or you just stick the whole log in. I mean, we don't really have enough. You kind of need three of them. And you use the, the like a bundle of logs in the snow so that you can light a fire on top and it kind of burns oh, down. Oh, yeah, you told me. Okay. I think that's called a, a Polish deep snow fire. So if you notice, uh, 
there isn't even you can't even really notice all the dead around it but when you look on the inside it's you can tell it's very oily and that's how you know it's gonna burn well and also last a while it's almost like pitch wood or uh, fat wood as they call it basically all that is is the a lot of oils is uh, are, are trapped and oftentimes you can even smell it all the oils about 10 more of those should be good It's, uh, we got about an hour and a half, maybe two hours of sunlight left, so plenty of time. Lots, way more time than last time. Time is on our side. Time is on our side. Yes, it is. Raven. Ravenclaw. Well, while Nathan is working on the seat, I figure I'd uh, make a little center pole, give us some room inside the shelter. I've made it wide enough for the both of us, obviously, but also wide enough to have a, a pole in the middle, I think. Bad. It's not supposed to snow too much uh, in our time here, but there are gaps on either side, so if it does snow overnight, we might get a little, little bit of snow on us. But we can always try and build the snow on the sides to cover that. But this is home for tonight. Home, home, home. It's uh, 345. That means darkness is imminent. We can already tell the light is uh, dissipating and uh, forecast is for uh, overcast. So we'll see uh, just how light it is. Remember last time it was a full moon and it was it was quite bright. I could walk around without a headlamp pretty easily. Good looking seat there, Nate. It's got a good crescent, crescent shape to it too, so we can uh, be closer to the fire. Oh yeah, it's supporting the weight. There we go. Put a little more on there, but I want to put something up under our asses, but.
Where's your mattress is at? Good uh, can tell I've had it for a while. Have you ever had it on, right on snow before? Is that what you used in Manning? Yeah. Oh, okay. I've had this for a while. Leo. So that the old logo on it. Yeah. I think like I've had this for six years, maybe. Oh, good. Great purchase. This doesn't really apply if you have uh, uh, anything other than uh, down in your sleeping bag, but if you do have a down sleeping bag, as you all know, it's good to get it set up uh, hours before you uh, tuck in. <coughs> Give it some time to uh, puff up. In my case, my bag is, uh, I think it's just nylon, or whatever the hell that... Uh, that material is called. Nathan, do you have a down bag? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Right on. I'm rocking two oh, and bags. You, oh, you got two bags. That's great. I got my summer and then my winter. I'm going to put the winter in the summer. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if you remember, uh, first, I don't know, 20 times or so times, I went out with uh, two really cheap sleeping bags and they they kept me comfortable in minus 10, almost minus 20. So you don't have to uh, splurge if you don't mind carrying the extra weight and bulkiness. Well, it's uh, sprinkling a little bit. Very, very fine, fine snow. Well, it's getting, uh, it's getting dark as you can probably tell. Nate's got some water on the well, trying to get some water boiling there. We brought our stoves, which is great. Get some coffee going. Uh, Finally, I can thing. take off these bloody things. As you can probably see, the crappy thing about these boots, besides the fact that they're they're not for the winter, they're, they're desert boots, is that they uh, they collect just tons of snow and then that snow melts and seeps into my into my socks. So they're good for just a one night in the snow. Any more than that though, if I can't get them dry next to the fire, they are useless. Oh yeah. Nice and packed. Cheers. Cheers to you folks. Cheers, huh? Happy holidays. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just a mouthful of hair. <laughs> <laughs> When do you think we should get this fire rocking? Uh, I feel like we can wait a while. Yeah, I want it now, but we can wait. We can wait. I'm okay for cold lies. Oh yeah, I'm smelling smoke too. Yeah, there's, there's definitely someone else over here. Um, yeah, I'd say, you know, at least a half hour. Yeah. What time did you say it was? Uh, it's, it was 3.45, it's probably 3, four, probably 4 o'clock now. It's almost 4.20. 4.20. Goodness gracious. So Nate, how are you feeling about uh, your first time in a snow trench? Well, I haven't actually been in it, so... I know, but how are you feeling about the first time you'll be in one? Oh, I think it, I'm, I'm feeling op optimistic. Really? That's a good mindset to go into it with. 
I see you're I think pretty... I'll be dry, warm. <laughs> yeah. As long as my legs dry off, I'll be okay. All right. Well, that's good. I love the op optimism. I like your setup. You got the double bag with the tarp underneath. I've got the uh, the bivy bag. You, you saw you saw me setting up. I just slipped my uh, air mattress inside the bivy bag, bivy bag, as well as my uh, sleeping bag. I've got the uh, the Mountain Warehouse. Uh, what is it? Uh, zero Celsius, I think it is. Bag. It's supposed to get down to negative three, apparently. So you know, should be good as long as we get dry. Should be good. Roast these shoes for a bit. Yeah, roast them. Was the last time you went camping like this with me? Yep. Really? Wow. Yep. <clears throat> wow, what an honor. A little, a little less than a year ago. I guess we went in like. We went in. February or something like that? Yeah, no, we went in. Uh, was it March? I feel like it was March. Yeah, it was still pretty cold. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it was it was get, definitely getting warmer. It was raining was, during the day. Because the way remember. back was that whole top level of the lake was melted. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I wish I got that on film. Uh, on our way back from that the last trip we went on, we get to the last lake and there's there's probably a good four. Yeah, I don't know, three, four inches of water, and we were just, I was, I was, like, terrified, because I knew if I was falling through, there's no way I can swim with all the, all the clothes, the backpack, and the snowshoes. That was pretty, pretty scary. But obviously, at that time, it's just the melting on top, there's probably a good, good layer of ice, so it probably was pretty safe, it was just sketchy. Sketchy, sketchy. Oh, I'm actually kind of getting chilled a bit, but that's because my uh, my legs are a bit wet, and I'm starting to get wet through my boots already. I should use uh, Nathan's strategy. He's just uh, bound up a couple grocery bags to his feet. Seems uh, it's probably the hobo way, but quite effective. Just, uh, Just a bit of hair and uh, <laughs> hair, so, gro uh, laundry lint. Oh, you were telling me about that, weren't you? And, and you put it inside of a uh, egg thing. And a little bit. I don't know if I put candle wax in this one. Oh yeah. But candle wax too. So Nate, you want to show the the folks? Oh yeah. So <clears throat> a little trick I learned from. Uh, my friend's father, John Kidder, um, you just take egg cartons and you fill it with your laundry lint, and obviously the egg carton's cardboard, it's going to burn, and the lint goes up like no one's business. And then what you also want to do is melt some candle wax in there, that'll just kind of help it along. And uh, there you go, you just tear them off, and you got little... Little pockets. Pockets of fire starter, hopefully. <laughs> So that doesn't do anything, but uh, what, that's that's definitely uh, what I've kind of what, what I've shown you in the past. Uh, sands the uh, egg carton. That's actually a great idea, uh, and obviously that the wax, awesome. Uh, but screw going out and buying fire starter. You know you could just make it at home. Yep. Keep <clears throat> free. All you gotta do is buy free. eggs and, and do, do your laundry. And do your laundry. <laughs> so. That's great. So we're just gonna enjoy our coffee for a little bit longer. Uh, probably wait till dark fall to get this fire going. I think we've got enough wood. I think we're good. Yeah. Hope so. What's this here? Oh, I don't know. Yay! God's sakes. Ah, good to see you out here. We're lighting the fire. Would you come sit? All right, can I light it or? Yeah. All right, Nathan's going to give it a go here. Yeah. We'll give see it how a that go goes. is the. 
I really hope this goes because I am cold and wet. So we're, cheat, we're cheating here. Yeah, we got a lighter. I got a, a flint striker, but uh. Oh yeah, well, well we should use the flint striker. We'll 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 use it if this doesn't work. You probably wanna once that goes, put these bad boys on. Yeah, that's a little. That's a little parcel right there. Thank you. So Nate's got the uh, the lint with the uh, what is it? The egg carton. Cheating with the lighter. See how well this goes, huh? I'm just gonna get that flint. Yeah, you gotta get that lint going. Flint, I meant lint. You gotta get the flint to get the lint. You gotta flick the flint to get the lint. <coughs> Probably important to note that a lot of the stuff is uh, covered in ice and snow, as you saw last time. But these twigs, they usually uh, catch quite well. Uh oh. The expert. <laughs> well, it's, it's got a good flame on that thing. It's tricky though when things are wet. I know, right? <clears throat> It's a real doozy. Really work every time. It's a good sign. <laughs> All right. Are you rolling that whole time? Huh? Yeah, that was nice. Okay. <clears throat> I think we need. Let's get you in here. Well, it was a good attempt. We had some good flames. Definitely, if this wood was technical uh, difficulties. If this wood was uh, was dry, absolutely, we'd have a fire going for sure. But, it's awfully hard if you can't get it hot real quick. Yeah. So I'll check back with you when we're ready to uh, have attempt number two. Alright, so that was a bit cruel. I was just kind of smirking as he was trying to get it going. I, I actually kind of hoped he would get it going because that would, so did I. that would bring me a lot of peace of mind. Because uh, I've been a little overkill as you've seen. Uh, but it looks like we're gonna have to do the tried and tested. Uh, the problem here, as I explained, is that a lot of this wood is wet already, 
So you kind of have to get a good fire going and just dry it out gradually. Uh, twigs are pretty dry, but they go out within seconds, as you saw. Uh, just a lighter this time. Just because uh, it's a hell of a lot easier. So I've got uh, some fire starter. It's just compressed board, the same stuff you've seen. And I've also got uh, another fail safe if this doesn't work, but we should be uh, good. Old Nathan's uh, little footsies are a touch, a touch numb. They're tingly now. They're really tingly. And it, this is a little thick, but with the fire starter, you should be, you should be good. This again is uh, covered in ice and snow, so it wouldn't hurt just to give it a little rat a tat. Rat a tui. Another uh, strategy that you could. Uh, if you've got a knife, you can shave off the layer, the wet layer, and typically the wooden sides uh, dry. And then it makes a little bit of kindling once it dries out. Exactly. It's a two for one deal. Nature's two for one. <laughs> oh. So that should be good. Uh, Got a nice layer of uh, twigs on top. Once that catches, we should be good to go. Briquettes. I had a homemade thing. Was, <laughs> I hadn't actually used it before. <laughs> so. <laughs> Happy holidays. <laughs> nice. Take those embers deep. Alright, I'm gonna attend to this and uh, check back with you when, it, when it's hopefully uh, banging, roaring. Well, we had the fire rocking uh, for a good uh, hour or so, and we were just starting to dry off our boots, and then it got smoky. So let me let me bring you over to another angle. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know if you can see that, but Nate's got his socks there. <laughs> yeah, it's going all right. We're probably gonna think about dinner soon. Uh, Nathan's got his uh, his moccasins on. <laughs> he brought moccasins. Mm, I wish they were moccasins. <laughs> uh, so we're just drawing some of our uh, some of our gear next to the fire. It's uh, it's got to be around seven. Let me check here. Yeah, it's almost seven o'clock. So once again, we're gonna try and get this fire going again. And then, uh, I mean, we have stove, so we don't necessarily need to get this fire going again, but... What do you have for dinner, Nate? We have some, uh... Oh, I have snot dripping. Snot! We have franks and buns and chili. Yeah, so we got some uh, dehydrated chili, and uh, we're gonna have some hot dogs. What kind of, uh, what kind of franks are they? Italian? We're talking some, like, mild, sweet Italian vibe. Okay, mild sweet. Good thing I brought Tums. We're gonna have some heartburn. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get this fire going once again and uh, start start the thing about dinner. Oh. Nate's got his boots. Uh, they're actually in the fire right now. I told him not to, but he doesn't care. He apparently doesn't care about his boots. Well, folks, what, 
what you've missed is us stoking the fire and getting it get it going again and uh, you know roasting the, the uh, what are these brats the Italian sausages and mm -hmm. the buns on the fire Nathan cheers and cheers to all you we'll see how they're there they're hot mmm Wow. You're probably asking yourself, did we put ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, cheese on these? No. Not a condiment on site. No. <clears throat> Just a bun and the wiener. Sausage. Sausage. Man, a hot meal in the woods in the winter, nothing beats it. Well, I'm, I'm sure there's some things that beat it, but in this very moment, this is the best food you can have. We uh, we kind of built the fire a, li a little off center of the base, so the ashes started to fall down into the snow, which is which is <laughs> that's not good. So slowly, inch by inch, we've been moving moving the fire over the three logs we put down, and it's uh. That's what you got to do. Without that bed of coals, forget about it. Snowing right now, or are those ashes? Ashes. Ashes. Uh, no, that's snow. That's snow. A little bit of snow. Well, I can easily take down another one of these. A hundred percent. We also got chili. Nathan uh, reinforced the idea of having the chili so we can make some uh, chili dogs. Which would be uh, what we call a gut buster, <laughs> but that's what you got to do during these trips. You gotta you gotta lay it all out and just see what happens. You pay pay for the mistakes in, in, in the morrow. That's that's the name of the game. Oh, this fire has been uh, somewhat of a nightmare to keep going. It's a high maintenance fire, you know, you get those every now and then, especially up here in the mountains. But that's what that's what you come up here for, you know, maintain that fire. I've also got a beer going. Here's to all you, and happy holidays. Hope you all have, have had a good holidays, Christmas holiday. Cheers. Uh, I'm drinking a an IPA. It's called uh, Red Racer. It's kind of a local beer here in Vancouver. God knows what Nathan's drinking. But, uh, Nathan, what are you drinking? It's a Steamworks Lager. Oh, another local beer. <laughs> Nathan's not really a fan of the IPAs, so I uh, I hoarded them for myself. But yeah, that's definitely snow. I guess this is the uh, five centimeters that we're going to get. All right. Here we go. Chili dog. Ready to go. Round two. <laughs> Snowing now. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit more. Oh, yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Fire's still going, as you can see, going quite well. We are uh, going to embark on another wood mission. A couple of good, uh, good logs that we've seen throughout our travels. We're going to go hunt them down and bring them to camp. Not too shabby. Not bad at all. Ah, burns the lips a little bit. <coughs> If it starts coming down more, I'm going to have to uh, get some uh, branches, some boughs, and reinforce the sides because there's a, there's a good uh, half a foot on either end that's not really covered, which means if it comes down a lot, we'll get covered in snow. 
I got a bivy bag, so I'm good. But Nathan, mm. he'll be okay. He'd be fine for one night. Yeah, I think he'll be fine. But that one bag's pretty good. The the other bag, yeah. Well, they, well they're both good, but the inner one, my <clears throat> the poopy one. And there's plenty of plenty of uh, chili left, so we will definitely be full. So if you're hungry, stop on by. Stop on by. We're just in the mountains. <clears throat> I don't know the address off hand. It's not even nine o'clock, so we have we've got we we we've got some time. It's chili time. Time's on our side. But uh, once once this meal is done, I'm gonna get my boots uh, going on the fire. They are soaking wet, that now. caked with snow. I should do that now, actually. But that means uh, taking them off and sitting down. And the seat's a, a little far from the fire, not too bad, but quite a bit of heat coming off this thing. Good. Okay. So as you can probably tell, it's snowing. Quite a bit, actually. So we've uh, fortified the shelter with some snowshoes and some uh, boughs. You can see them there uh, on both sides, because our tarp kind of extends, uh, or it doesn't extend to where the snow begins. You know, on the on the ledge of the uh, snow trench. So hopefully that that holds us off until the morning. Uh, the fire is done. And that tells us it's time to get to bed. Yeah, we, we've been chilling uh, next to the fire for the past couple of hours, trying just maintaining the fire this entire time. It's been, it's been a challenge, and uh, it's it, it's actually still smoldering, still going a bit. But uh, these are the last throws of a dying fire. There's no uh, rescuing it now. It's about three feet down <laughs> into the snow. That's when you know it's over. So we're going to try and crawl in this thing and uh, get comfortable, and uh, that's where we'll see you next. Well, Nathan settled. Whoa! <laughs> this is uh, a bit of a nightmare. We got bits of snow everywhere. Trying to get in this thing semi-wet. Oh yeah, just a clump of snow right on the mattress. Not taking off my pants, no way. Not a chance. I... <laughs> Nathan's uh, going commando. Currently. Rocking the LJs under here, don't you worry about it. <laughs> Where is the sleep? Oh, there it is. There is the sleeping bag. I'm quite exposed on this side. Uh, Nathan seems to be quite well. <laughs> He's quite good. Um, I can slide over a bit. Yeah, I'll, swipe, I'll slide over towards Nate here. As la same as last time, I've got a candle. Nathan's got a little candle going himself. We'll uh, dig a little cubby hole here and get that going. <laughs> this fly tent is insufficient. That was my call. <laughs> well, that's fine, but that was my call. It's not fine. The tarp would. The tarp would have been just perfect. Oh boy, you 
take my camel and then put it in my sock. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm getting toasty. I'm getting toasty now. I got the candle going. Yeah. Nate, you toasty? I'm pretty toasty. Feet could be toastier, but hey. Uh oh. You do. Okay. <clears throat> Alright folks, we are for the most part toasty. Uh, hopefully we remain as such throughout the night and uh, throughout the morning. And that's where we'll catch you next. Have a good night. Nathan, have a good night. There's your hand. Great. <laughs> Alright everybody, see you in the morning. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Good morning, Nathan. <clears throat> well, the snow came in as per usual, and uh, I am covered in snow. <laughs> so are my boots. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a blast getting out of here. But it's time. It's time. <clears throat> I slept, uh... Okay. It was pretty off and on. Alright. Time to move. guys I think that's gonna do it we uh, we didn't bo bother with breakfast it's uh, it was just quite the uh, quite the hassle getting out of bed wasn't it <laughs> took me about five minutes to get these boots on because they're frozen solid what a night I was not supposed to snow this much but this is the mountains and this is what we get so anyways yeah go ahead no, that's it. all right <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you like this one, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>